it's just a little something I wanted to say to the men. Um, the fact of the matter is you are a king and a priest. And there is so much that the enemy has against you that he'll do everything in his power to diminish your kingship, to diminish your role as leader, and to make you obsolete. And, um, <clears throat> you know, we see uh, that one of the ways that the enemy is definitely against you is he wants to stop your seed. He wants to stop your seed so that he can duplicate the greatness that's in you. And what's sad about it is a lot of you don't even know uh, what lies inside of you. You don't know how great you are. And it's you that we want to be in position so that we can get to where we need to get. It's nothing like good leadership. And even if you're not perfect, that's fine. We know you're not perfect. But golly, I'm telling you, <clears throat> when you're in your place, everything else is so much better. And guess what? In order for you to take your place, it doesn't mean that you have to step on somebody else. It doesn't mean that you have to step on your wife or step on others. When you are who you are, you don't have to fight for that to be seen. You just are. So as you follow Christ, you'll take on his characteristics. And his characteristics are kingly. And when you're a leader... You don't have to fuss, fight, or be a dictator to show that you're a leader. You just are one. And real leaders are genuine. They're kind. They're strong. You know how to be aggressive when it's time to be aggressive. You know how to communicate when, when you need to communicate. And, you know. and as women, we shouldn't want to change you. We do, however, want you to be refined under the hand of God. Because when you're refined, you're at your best. And there's nothing like a man being at his best. You know, things are in order that way. That no matter what this world is coming against you with, uh, you stay in your place. You stay in your rightful place. It's hard. I don't have the responsibility you have. You know, you have to answer to God about many things. God isn't going to come to us asking us a lot of questions. Now, he's going to come to us, you know, with our regular life. We have to answer to God for what we do. But at the end of the day, you have to answer when it comes to your marriage and your children. A king takes care of responsibilities, and a king isn't easily taken down. Um, I just want you to stand up. I have your back. We have your back. More women have your back than you know. Um, so anyway, yeah, stay encouraged.